Hello and uh, welcome to this second part of training for StreamYard. I want to compare it with uh, XSplit VCAM, which is what I'm using right now. Uh, I'm broadcasting through OBS into uh, StreamYard, which I'll show you in a, a moment. I want to uh, talk about the green screen effect using XSplit because it is quite good and it's native. You don't need any kit, you don't need any stuff green. Uh, I'll show you the uh, green screen but you don't need any of that. So what you don't need is any of this. You don't need the green, you don't need the, uh, we need some lights to make it work properly, but technically you could get away with just uh, X split. <laughs> So XSplit is an add-on software package that you have to buy to make it work. Otherwise you end up with a, a limited use and um, a watermark, which is annoying. That's what I use uh, occasionally. And of course, the beauty of it is that you can actually change the backgrounds or have it removed altogether. Now, why am I mentioning this? Well, the good news is that StreamYard have included the green screen effect. What I noticed uh, about it was it's exactly the same as XSplit. So when you come into your uh, broadcast area on the way in, and you're setting your camera and more audio and speakers there's an option for green screen it says my browser doesn't support the green screen feature <laughs> okay so I can often fix it by so obviously it's because I'm not using the graphics, the GPU uh, for my browser. So it's going to have to go into change my browser settings. Let's do that. So we're going to go into Google Chrome and settings, advanced, which is somewhere... Add a new, ah, down the bottom, advanced. So use hardware, uh, printing system, that one there. So I need to turn that on. Right, and then of course, you need to relaunch the browser. Right, let's go back. So we're going to enter oh, cam and green screen and it says it uses more uh, resources and other features. Powerful computers will perform best. Well, I, I actually have a quite a powerful computer so I'm and a really good graphics card so I'm fairly confident that 
it should be all right. Let's try it. Right, so in the same way that XSplit allows you to remove the background, you can, obviously this is a, a virtual background, uh, you can remove the background, or you can place your own background behind it. Well, you're not going to be able to see anything because at the moment my camera is coming from OBS. So I've managed to um, assign my webcam. This is within, uh, obviously within uh, StreamYard. So my camera is now directly controlled. And as you can see behind me, you have to have a green screen. Uh, it's not zoomed in on this, but it is on my uh, green screen control within OBS so what you would probably have to do is zoom in or move it a bit closer so and the camera resolution high definition obviously that will uh, influence the resources as well so the green screen thing is that you can change the background now you can see that this is a, a problem because it's not wide enough. The actual green screen is not either close enough or it's not wide enough for my situation. So I would have to do something about that. But I can uh, remove it so there's no background. It's green screen. Uh, the, there is a tutorial. And of course you can upload your own background so you could put your own uh, on there but of course it's only it's only going to appear on the green screen and you do need to have lights you do need to make sure that it's it's very very well lit um, which is a requirement for green screens unfortunately. The fade button. Oh, I see. You can. Uh, this is to do with the actual video. So you can just have the entire background. Or you can fade the background out altogether. But what you can't do is make it as wide as the screen. And have yourself on the video because there is no the actual green screen is not wide enough so interestingly um, for me obviously if you've got a green screen and you've got no other way of doing this then that is perfect uh, however I have several different ways I can use a green screen uh, and of course they work this is not my this is my second camera so it's not going to be lined up properly so as you can see the green screen I've got uh, it, it needs to be well lit otherwise you end up with black marks everywhere uh, and also you can adjust the in OBS you can adjust the sensitivity of the the uh, green screen effect but the idea of this is that I could if I wish just a plain see-through uh, blank background um, and as you can see from this uh, I could put a different background that I'm using because my green screen is active uh, you, know, you have a uh, the option of putting any any background you like where anything but this in reality is what you will see in my room and um, you can see the lighting there very very important that the the lighting is good and I've got four lights just on the background and I've got two other lights in front of me to to light me up and then the four 
behind me for the background. You will depend on, um, because my camera is quite a long way away and my room and the green screen is quite a long behind me. Uh, you may need different lighting uh, and, you know, obviously depending on the room, uh, you may get away with it. But I have a very small window over there. So unfortunately, I can't rely on light coming in. So while we're here, we may as well have a look at XSplit. This piece of software that you can get it is uh, it does the same thing as removing your uh, background using a green screen. However, it doesn't rely on that. You, I found that I can get away with the two lights in front and it lights up fairly well. There are some settings that you can use. This is to do with the camera. So you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with that because it's all set correctly. But you can have your own backgrounds. Uh, this is a fade. So you can blur your uh, screen. And of course you can put load up your own um, backgrounds there. Anything you like. And of course, this XSplit, it will appear in OBS and StreamYard as a camera. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, thumbs up, like and share. And of course, come back again. And uh, if you have any questions, then please ask them down below. Bye for now.